Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Ottawa Valley Rambles. In this part one of three episodes, we explore Limi Lake Park on the south side along the Ottawa River. Please enjoy. Here we are, um, right at the edge of Limi Park on the Ottawa River, and this is uh, this is a place right here is where the NCC does its uh, some of its digs, and uh, sometimes annually here, and sometimes just a little bit farther. But this is a place of encampment, indigenous encampment that goes back 6,000 years. So it's one of the earliest sites of this and Victoria Island, the earliest sites of. Uh, uh, indigenous presence and it just also happens to be uh, because it's Leamy Park it's uh, the exact spot where uh, the uh, indigenous uh, people of this area uh, met the first permanent settlers of the area and of course before that there were French explorers going back and forth and voyageurs and fur traders going back and forth for years but um, on this very spot, what you have is this place of Indian encampment that goes 6,000 years. But this bay right here is a bay that is called Rafting Bay. And it is from this exact spot right here that the first timber raft was assembled and sailed from uh, here to Quebec City, the raft named Colombo, that was put together by Philemon Wright. And it was manned by he and his 17-year-old son Tiberius and three other um, stalwarts, the first raftsmen of the Ottawa Valley, um, Martin Ebert, John Turner, and London Oxford. London Oxford owned this land right here. Uh, he was given, a, he was here until 1810, and I, I believe he had a, a big part in putting that raft together and sailing it, so he must have had some carpenter skills. But London Oxford also has the distinction of being the first um, black uh, settler in the Ottawa Valley. He arrived here with uh, Philman Wright. He was one of the five families that, uh, that arrived here in 1800. So quite an historic place. Uh, a history that spans uh, over 6,000 years. Quite special. And if you walk along this beach, as I just did a moment ago, there are thousands of pieces of pottery shard uh, that you can find um, all along the beach. Most of the pottery shard that you find is uh, late woodland period, which means uh, in the last uh, two millennia. Quite something. We also have a, a wreck right down in Rafting Bay here, the wreck of the Jean Richard, which uh, began as a working schooner in Quebec City, and became a, uh, a working boat on the Ottawa River, and it was renamed the Ville de Vanier. The wreck is lying just sitting outside, the, just a bit of it sitting uh, above the water. Kind of interesting, too. Uh, so just in a, the last 10 minutes, picking up on, along the beach, as I said, there are hundreds of pieces of pottery shard that you can find along the beach and what we found here's a piece of cut limestone so used for building um, don't know what that is but it's that would be uh, anywhere let's say 19th 20th century ceramic but it looks more like 19th very porous so I would say 19th century ceramic this is probably a piece of a, a large pot and uh, this would be indigenous so probably late woodland period and this is what's called Champlain Chert. And there, again, the beach is littered with it because as a campground, they would be flint napping to make uh, arrowheads and knives and awls and all kinds of tools that were required. And this, weirdly enough, is a piece of slag. So that's metal that has been um, essentially uh, left on this. So who knows? It probably comes from, I guess, maybe 
maybe somebody's uh, fireplace. This whole area also has um, a history in the 1900s, uh, early 1900s. Uh, there were um, cottages all along here that were, um, for, for a long time, the, the cottagers just basically squatted here. And um, it was called Silver Beach. That was the name of it back then. I'm going to use uh, Andrew's words. This is Rick the Wreck looking at the wreck in the Ottawa River. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is really curious because it's, uh, it's an actual shipwreck in the Ottawa River. It's been here for decades and decades. And um, it is actually, it was once a working schooner in Quebec City. And it had the name of the Jean Richard, the John Richard, the Jean Richard. And the Jean Richard was a working schooner, as I said. And then they um, equipped it with a steam engine. And uh, it was bought and brought to Ottawa and became and renamed the Ville de Vanier and became essentially a tour boat. And then uh, at one point or another, it was brought into this bay and left here to find its fate as it is right now. What year would you say this was dropped here? I'm going to say probably in the 60s, 1960s, and I'm going to say that it was probably built, oh, somewhere around 1930, 1940, but don't quote me on that. I don't have to, it's on video. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't have anything to do with film and write, I don't know the dates. <laughs> So Rick, I've ridden by here and walked by here many times and have always wondered what this foundation is. And uh, you've already told me exactly what we're looking at here, but could you explain exactly what you're standing on? This was actually, it's a modern building. It's a warehouse, but it's part of the Gatineau Boom Company. And the Gatineau Boom Company was, uh, this would be its base in Gatineau because they collected logs all the way up the uh, Gatineau River. Uh, the Gatineau Boom Company was founded by a man by the name of Samuel Bingham, known, I think, uh, widely as the King of the Gatineau. And Samuel Bingham started that company in about 1889, I believe. And uh, this, uh, this stood, this building stood here all my life until about six years ago. And it, um, it burnt in a fire. I think vandals, probably and uh, unfortunately but it was a uh, building the building itself dated from well middle middle of the 20th century <laughs> thank you for watching and please refer to the video description for further reading on this area if you enjoyed or learned anything from this video please like and subscribe to see part two where we move north to limi lake see you soon